It's not how much time you have, it's how you use it. Hello, my name is Maxki, and I have a product for you today. Are you tired of facing the same successfully reworked and then reverted, reworked, reverted champions in League of Legends? Well, that champion does not need a nerf. Am I right? Or do you love to play against champions that have gotten several reworks and they were all successful? Why not play a champion that can point and click CC you and then kill you, get a shield, the speed boost? Am I right or am I wrong? Riot, please do not rework this champion, he needs a buff. One champion that needed buffs so much that they had to buff him three patches in a row was Kastadin. It's not like Kastadin wasn't banned for an entire season before. But what about the rework to Kali? Akali has true stealth, she could tower dive you, dash across the map to you, empowered auto attack you, outplay you, no counterplay Akali. Wait, let's not forget about Zoe, the champion that took a year to get nerfed to the ground and still pretty good. But let's not forget Aurelia. Let's nerf Aurelia's early game, buff her late game, but then rebuff her early game. So now it's like, what the? <laughs> well, to solve all our issues with Echo, we're doing an Echo support guide. Why play Echo in the mid lane when you can play Echo support and not have to deal with mid lane cancer? Look at this. Rengar, no thank you. I give my Kaisa the kill. Rise, haha, <laughs> Re get reworked. Guess what? Kaisa gets a double kill. But yes, this is an Echo support build rune little guide, okay? Yes, we're doing this. So for Echo support, I thought of this rune page because it, it seems pretty good versus uh, AD carries and supports that you don't want to fight. Like imagine having a Draven in Alistar. That's like super CC, super damage. So you, you don't always want to like, you know, QE auto attack to proc electrocute. Where in this type of matchup, if you have to play Echo Support, you could throw out a Q and get free pokes with Arcane Comet. And Arcane Comet does a good amount of damage. The damage is basically the same as Electrocute in the early game, with a little bit shorter of a cooldown, so that's pretty good. But yeah, you go Arcane Comet for the poke with your Qs. Mana Flow Band, if they have like a lot of AD champions, because you don't really need Nullifying Orb. But if they have a lot of AP champions, then yeah, Nullifying Orb is pretty good, like a brand support. Uh, absolute focus gathering storms for that AP scaling so you still could one shot people well not probably not one shot but do a lot of damage and then I go inspiration because you are a melee assassin playing support so you do need sustain in lane if you get poked out your, your AD carry is going to hate you he probably doesn't hate you already for playing echo support but you know you want to stay in lane longer so biscuit delivery time warp tonic is sort of an, a meta pick in the mid lane right now for annoying champions but for support you could keep healing up after trading so it's actually really good and then this room page is the Electrocute version. So Electrocute obviously does a lot of damage, has a low cooldown now, so it actually synergizes Echo pretty well. But the only reason I don't like this is, is because it, it does the same damage as Meteor in the early game. Yes, it scales better than Meteor for damage, but like, like I said before, if you're versing somebody that you don't want to jump into, it's kind of like not good to take. But if you're versing a uh, squishy support, uh, like immobile AD carry, like imagine having the enemy team has like a Sona support and like an Ash AD carry. You could jump on either one of them and burst them and not be scared of being CC'd or anything like that. So you want to go Electrocute, set an impact, Ghost Portal or Eyeball Collection, whichever one you want. I like Ghost Portal, it's like a free ward as support. And then Ravenous Hunter for healing. And then same thing for Inspiration, you want to get those healings after you trade. So for the build, this is what I'm still working on, but this is what I have so far. So I, I would love your guys' input on this. So first you go, obviously go Spell Thieves, upgrade it to Frost Fang, because you know, you need a gold generation on a, on a support, get the ward, so that's obviously you have to buy that. Then I would also also buy Dark Seal and Refillable Potion alongside with Time Warp Tonic, the rune. With Biscuits, you're gonna have super healing, that's what allows you to trade often. And if you get poked, you could heal back, which is really good. And Dark Seal also helps you, you know, if you get a couple of a kills or assists, you know, snowball a little bit. And then obviously Proto Belt, Proto Belt is very cheap item gives everything that echo needs hp ap a dash cdr it's just a really good cheap item and then i go iceborne gauntlet i go iceborne gauntlet because i want to be a little bit tanky because if i'm not tanky 
then you know I'm just gonna get one shot because I'm gonna be like low in levels because I'm a support. But yeah, I go Iceborne Gauntlet because it gives me that armor versus ADs. Um, and also the slow is really good also, so I love Iceborne Gauntlet. And so for boots, for boots you could go with Tabby, Sorks, or Merc Treads depending on the situation. That's why I didn't put it in here. But then after that, like, you either go AP or you go tanky, so... I can't put every- I could put every single item for you guys to build, but... AP build, you would go like, I don't know, Death Cap next, possibly. Death Cap, maybe Zanya's next for more armor and AP. Maybe Morella Namacon for AP build, you know? But if you want to go tanky, you could go like, I don't know, maybe build a support item like Locket. Maybe build- Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe build, um, I don't know. Some tank kind of like Spear of Visage for AP people. Maybe build uh, Sunfire Cape or Randuin so they have crit. Like, see so this this is the part where like, you have so many options depending on the game. So I can't really tell you what to build. But for the most part, I feel like after building these core items with the boots of your choice, you either go an AP build with like Death Cap and like Morello or something, or you go tanky with like Randuin or like maybe a support item like Locket. Unless you want to go real support and go redemption, but I haven't really tried going that stuff yet. But for the most part, I usually go full AP after this, if I'm really ahead. But if my team needs like more defenses, I'd go like, you know, a Randuin's or some type of item that could protect my team. So the build is still under construction, as you could tell. But this is this is what I usually build. But usually at this point in the game, if you have Proto Belt, Iceborne, Gauntlet with boots and Spell Thieves and Dark Seal. The game is pretty much like 15 minutes in, 20 minutes in. So you'll, you'll see if you could win or lose the game depending, you know, by this point already, so. But yeah, let's talk about why Echo Support can actually be pretty good, can actually be pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys some Echo Support clips. So the first thing Echo could do is he could throw out an early level 1Q and guess what? You instantly got the push advantage. You, you instantly got the advantage to get level two first on the enemy AD carry because you're able to push so fast. Next, they try to engage in your AD carry. Nope. You get those nice out of the bush um, W stuns, like unexpected, right? You could cancel engage, you could hard engage. Look at this one. AD carry, you don't have to do anything. I got you, boom. Hard engage by myself. Double passive procs. Run away, you ain't touching me. AD carry is safe. Look at this play. They're trying to push in the wave. Nope. I'm gonna throw out a Q and guess what? Kaisa clears the entire wave. You ain't pushing in this wave, baby. Look at this one. They don't even see me coming. Boom. Echo support though. Get your AD carry a kill. And you guys already saw this clip. Echo basically has two health bars. So look at this. La 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 la. Echo has two health bars. I'm just a support player. Oh no, the enemy fed Rangar jumps on me. Oh my god, he almost killed me. Back to full HP. AD carry, where you at? Boom, 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 boom. Get those assists from my Kai'Sa. I mean, kills from my Kai'Sa. Oh, Rise? Huh, I ain't mid lane Echo, baby. I'm support. Yeah, so I think Echo support has a lot of, like, you know, benefits. So you guys should try it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.